Ada County is celebrating the reopening of a nearly two mile stretch of the green belt near Garden City after they say flooding destroyed it in 2017. I'm your neighborhood reporter Allie Tripke with more on the new features that Ada County Parks and Waterway says will make this area safer. Okay, it's open. Wider, safer with the line and smoother. All things tend to make for happier users. The project to improve the stretch of pathway starting near Duck Lake Drive began in December after flood damage back in 2017. This isn't a brand new section of Greenbelt, like an addition to the Greenbelt. It's a replacement of a segment that was built initially in 2010. This, including upgrading cracked uneven asphalt road to concrete, adding lane markings, repairing fences to prevent trespassing, fixing a section of the riverbank to reduce erosion, and a bridge replacement. Not only will it handle more people at once going across it, but for maintenance for Ada County Parks and Waterways, we can now drive vehicles across that that are gonna make it easier to maintain without impeding traffic on the Greenbelt. The much needed $2 million improvements also come at no extra cost to property taxpayers. This is not coming out of local tax dollars. We use the money we received from the American Rescue Plan. All in an effort to create a safer green bill. Anytime you widen the pathway, there is concern that people may travel faster. What we find is it actually separates users in a more efficient way. We're all going to have to figure out together, you know, how do we keep it safe for everybody, whether they're a pedestrian, a cyclist, or using an electric uh, transportation uh, device. Ada County is encouraging any neighbors who have comments or concerns about safety and speed limits along the Greenbelt to join them for their public hearing on August 13th. From the Greenbelt, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Ali Tripke for Idaho News 6.